from the birth of the eight-legged steed Sleipnir to the end of the world itself, our countdown chronicles the tales that have echoed through the ages, captivating the minds of historians, scholars, and storytellers alike. If you find yourself intrigued by these age-old narratives, we cordially invite you to express your appreciation by clicking the like button, subscribing to our Mythos catalog, and ringing the bell icon to ensure you never miss an update. Together, we'll continue to unravel the rich tapestry of, of myths that have shaped our world. So, dear listener, prepare to voyage back in time as we delve into the top five epic Viking myths. Commencing our journey at number five, we delve into the remarkable saga of the birth of Sleipnir. In the rich tapestry of Viking mythology, few creatures are as extraordinary as Sleipnir, the eight-legged steed of Odin the Allfather. This magnificent horse, unlike any other in the realms of myth and reality, was born of an unlikely union, a tale as peculiar as it is fascinating. The saga begins with the cunning trickster god, Loki. In an attempt to save the gods of Asgard a hefty sum of gold, Loki made a daring gamble with a stonemason, betting that he couldn't complete the fortification of Asgard's walls in a single winter. The stakes were high, the sun, the moon, and even the hand of the beautiful goddess Freya. But Loki had underestimated the mason's skill and his powerful stallion Svadilfari. As the deadline drew near, it looked as though Loki would lose his wager. In desperation, he transformed into a mare, luring Svadilfari away and sabotaging the mason's work. This peculiar distraction resulted in the birth of Sleipnir, an eight-legged horse, swift and strong, who Loki later gifted to Odin. In Viking mythology, Sleipnir symbolizes more than just an unusual steed. His eight legs represent the eight points of the compass, embodying Odin's dominion over the whole world. He's also a creature of transition, able to travel between the worlds of the living and the dead, reflecting the Vikings' belief in the interconnectedness of all things. Moreover, Sleipnir's tale is a testament to Loki's cunning, showcasing his ability to outwit and manipulate to achieve his ends. Yet it also serves as a warning of the unpredictable consequences of deceit, a lesson that even the gods themselves are not immune to. A tale as strange as it is captivating, the birth of Sleipnir sets the tone for the mystical world of Viking myths. At number four, we encounter the chilling saga of the Binding of Fenrir. Our story begins with a prophecy. The monstrous wolf, Fenrir, born of the trickster god Loki and the giantess Angaboda, was prophesied to bring about the downfall of the gods. This prophecy, as you can imagine, struck fear into the hearts of the gods of Asgard, who decided they must take action to prevent their predicted doom. The gods, filled with trepidation at the ever-growing wolf, decided to bind Fenrir using a series of increasingly strong fetters or chains. However, Fenrir was no ordinary wolf, and each time he broke free with an unnerving ease, the gods realized they needed a solution of a more cunning nature. Enter the dwarves, master smiths, and creators of magical objects. The gods commissioned from them a fetter named Gleipnir, crafted from six impossible things, the sound of a cat's footfall, the beard of a woman, the roots of a mountain, the sinews of a bear, the breath of a fish, and the spittle of a bird. The result was a ribbon, smooth and soft, yet impossibly strong. With Gleipnir in hand, the gods approached Fenrir, proposing a challenge of strength. Suspicious, Fenrir agreed, but only if one of them would place their hand in his jaws as a pledge of good faith. Brave Tyr, the god of war, volunteered, knowing the dire consequences. As the gods bound Fenrir with Gleipnir, the wolf strained against the fetter. But no matter how he struggled, he could not break free. Realizing he had been tricked, Fenrir bit off Tyr's hand, fulfilling part of the prophecy. A tale of prophecy and deceit? The binding of Fenrir reminds us of the lengths the gods would go to preserve their reign. Number three on our list brings a blend of humor and adventure in the theft of Thor's hammer. In the realm of Norse mythology, the hammer of Thor Mjolnir is a symbol of power and a formidable weapon against the enemies of the Aesir gods. Yet even the mighty Mjolnir isn't immune to the cunning of a certain giant. One morning Thor awoke to find his precious hammer missing. All fingers pointed to the giants known for their love of mischief and chaos. The prime suspect was Thrym, the King of the Giants, a figure notorious for his trickery. 
Thrym, in a bid to marry the beautiful goddess Freyja, had indeed stolen Mjolnir and hidden it eight miles under the earth. His ransom? Freya's hand in marriage. But Freya, being no one's pawn, flatly refused. A conundrum indeed. How to retrieve Thor's hammer without conceding to the giant's outrageous demand? The gods convened, and a plan was hatched. A plan that would require Thor to swallow his pride and step into a role so far removed from his warrior persona. With the help of Loki, the trickster god, Thor was dressed as Freya, donning a bridal gown and veil in a bid to deceive Thrym and reclaim the stolen hammer. Thus, Thor, the thunder god, the mighty warrior, found himself playing bride to a giant. The ruse worked. Thrym, eager to marry Freyja, brought out Mjolnir to bless the union. The moment the hammer was in reach, Thor cast off his disguise, seized his weapon and, true to his nature, brought down a storm of thunder and lightning upon Thrym and his kin. A saga filled with wit and laughter, the theft of Thor's hammer shows us another side to our mighty Thor. The tale serves as a reminder that even the mightiest of warriors can resort to wit and cunning when brute force fails, and that a good laugh can be found even in the most dire of situations. Our countdown continues with the intoxicating tale of the Mead of Poetry at number two. For those unfamiliar, the Mead of Poetry is no ordinary beverage. This divine brew, according to Viking mythology, was concocted from the blood of a wise man named Kvasir, who was cunningly murdered by two dwarfs. Kvasir's vast wisdom and knowledge were believed to be imbued into this mead, granting poetic prowess and scholarly insights to any who sipped it. But how did this mystical mead come to be? Well, after Kvasir's demise, the dwarfs mixed his blood with honey, creating an elixir of wisdom and creativity. But their secret didn't remain hidden for long, it caught the attention of a giant named Sutunga, who, in a fit of greed, seized the mead from the dwarfs and hid it away in the center of a mountain. Yet the mead of poetry was not destined to remain in the clutches of a giant. Enter Odin the Allfather, a god renowned for his cunning and thirst for knowledge. He embarked on a perilous mission to reclaim the mead. Through a series of deceptions and feats, Odin managed to reach the mead and, transforming into an eagle, he flew back to Asgard, the realm of the gods, with the precious mead in his possession. This tale isn't merely a story of an enchanted brew. Its significance lies in the underlying respect and reverence the Vikings held for the art of poetry and wisdom. The Mead of Poetry symbolized the power of creative expression and the quest for knowledge, traits that were highly esteemed in Viking culture. In essence, the Mead of Poetry was more than just a mythical drink. It was a symbol of the Vikings' love for storytelling, their quest for wisdom, and their deep appreciation for the power of words. And isn't that something we can all raise a glass to? A tale of wisdom and inspiration, the Mead of Poetry, embodies the Vikings' love for poetry and knowledge. Finally, at number one, we arrive at the grandest of all Viking sagas, Ragnarok, the end of the world. In this tale of epic proportions, the gods themselves meet their doom. The treacherous Loki and his monstrous brood wage a cataclysmic battle against the Aesir, the pantheon of Norse deities. The mighty Thor, the wise Odin and their allies face the grim prophecy with courage, knowing well the fatal outcome. The world is engulfed in chaos, the sun turns black, and the earth sinks into the sea. However, from this apocalyptic wreckage, a new world emerges, pristine and reborn. The survivors, both gods and humans, find themselves in a rejuvenated realm, ready to begin the cycle anew. A saga of destruction and rebirth, Ragnarok symbolizes the cyclical nature of time in Viking beliefs. Our journey through the world of Viking myths comes to an end, but the echoes of these tales continue to resonate. From the birth of Sleipnir, the eight-legged steed, to the binding of the mighty wolf Fenrir, we've traced the footprints of gods and beasts alike. We've uncovered the story of Thor's stolen hammer and reveled in the intoxicating tale of the Mead of Poetry. Finally, we stared into the abyss of Ragnarok, the end of the world. Each of these sagas, brimming with bravado, magic and wisdom, remains a vibrant thread in the rich tapestry of Viking culture. So, dear viewer, if you've enjoyed our exploration, do consider expressing your appreciation. A click on the like button, a subscription to Mythos Catalog, and a tap on the bell icon will keep you abreast of our future journeys into the realm of the extraordinary. 
Thank you for joining us on this voyage through time. Until our paths cross again in the realm of myths and legends, fare thee well.